Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, September the 13th. It's the 16th Sunday after Pentecost, and week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 8, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1 to 19, and Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 10 to 14. And now please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. For you're our God and we your flock, the Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Alleluia, Psalm 8, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and sucklings, you have ordained strength that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what are we that you are mindful of us, the children of the earth that you visit us? For you have made us a little lower than the angels and have crowned us with glory and honor. You made us to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under our feet, all sheep and oxen, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Paul, called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and our brother Sosthenes, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you, because of the grace of God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you be in agreement and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same purpose. For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there are quarrels among you. What I meant, mean is that each of you says, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Has Christ been divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Thank God I baptized none of you, except Crispus and Gaius, so that no one can say that you were baptized in my name. I did baptize also the household of Stephanas. Beyond that, I do not know whether I baptized anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to proclaim the gospel, and not with eloquent wisdom, so that the, Christ, the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its power. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's recite the canticle together. Alleluia, hear the word of the Most High, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, God, that scattered Israel will gather them, and keep them as a shepherd keeps a flock. For the Most High has redeemed Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and ransomed them from hands too strong. And therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion, and shall flow together to the goodness of God, for wheat and for wine and for oil. For the young of the flock and of the herd, and their lives shall be like a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more. And then the virgin shall rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together, for I will turn their mourning into joy, and I will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satisfy the priests with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, says God the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.